Okay. Hi, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about doing 6.3 multiplying poly polynomials using the area model. Okay, this is really simple. So I'm just going to show you guys how to get started here. So we're just going to do 10 problems. Um, so they're going to be pretty quick here. So the area model is just like a rectangle. So all we're going to be doing is technically find the area of a rectangle or multiple rectangles and then uh, adding them up. So I want to multiply 2x times 3x squared. So the way I'm going to set this up is I'm going to look at this and go, okay, this is one term. How do I know? Quick reminder, terms are separated by plus or minus signs. Inside the parentheses here, I have another term. That's one term and one term. Why is this important? It's going to help me set up my rectangle. My rectangle, in this case, needs to be a one by one. The amount of terms that you have tells you how many rectangles you need. So uh, this is going to be a one by one. So I'm just going to make a one by one rectangle like so. And then I'm going to just decide, OK, I'm going to put the 2x right here and the 3x squared on top. It doesn't really matter where you put them. It's up to you. But that's just what I'm going to roll with right now. I think my purple marker might die, so I'm going to grab one right here. Then I just find the area of this box. Well, it's really simple. You're going to handle this one little part at the time. So any letters, variables that match, you'll multiply those together. Any of the numbers, you'll just multiply those together. So 2 times 3 will get me 6. x squared times x to the first gets you x to the third because 2 plus 1. You add up the areas, which there's only one here. 6x to the third is the answer here. Now, setting up the box may seem a little unnecessary for this problem, but it's going to help with as the problems get more complicated as we go on. So let's just keep going here. So same thing here. Multiply negative x squared, that's one term, times negative 3x to the fifth, that's another one term. So this is going to be another one by one box. On the outside of this one, I'm going to put negative x squared, and then I'll put negative 3x to the fifth up at the top. And so like I said before, we're going to multiply the numbers first. So negative times a negative would be a positive x, or, and then that's 3 times negative 1. Sorry, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. x to the 5th times x squared is going to be x to the 7th, so the answer is 3x to the 7th. All right, so hopefully that makes sense right there. Sorry, I'm going to have to do some real quick adjusting. All right, we figured it out. So. All right, for our last one here, what we're going to have is this is one term. This is actually negative one on the outside, okay? So if you don't see that one written, remember you can write it down. And then here, this is going to be our first example where we actually have two terms separated by that minus sign. So there's two terms. So why does this matter? This is going to change our box. This is going to change our box. Instead of a one by one box, we're going to have a one by two box. So I'm going to have one row and two columns for one term, two terms. Now watch how I label these terms. Negative one, if you want to put the one, will go on the outside. And then x squared, and then minus four. I'm going to put the minus with the four so I remember to multiply it. You'll see why that matters in a second. Negative one times x squared is negative x squared. Negative one times negative four is a positive four. That's why the negative matters that you put it with the four. We add these together, x squared plus four that's the final answer. All right, so that's three. Let's keep going here. All right, so number four says multiply 2x cubed, 2x to the power of three, that's one term, by 3k squared, that's one. 5x is another one, negative four is another one. So in total, we have three. So I'm going to create a one by three box. So this one's going to get slightly bigger. We'll put the 2x to the third on the outside, the 3k squared here, 5x, and then the negative 4. And we'll multiply it bit by bit. Now, here in this first box, we're going to do 2 times 3, which gets us 6. But x to the third and k squared, those aren't the same letters. So typically, we write them alphabetically. So it would be k squared, x to the third. Um, it doesn't really matter, though. Um, but this is how that would multiply together. You just leave the letters, the different variables um, separated. Next, 5 times 2 is 10. x to the third times x to the fourth, or sorry, x to the third times x is x to the fourth. 
And then negative 4 times 2x cubed is negative 8x to the third. And then we just add these all together. So 6k squared x cubed plus 10x to the fourth minus 8x to the third is the final answer here. Okay, number five, we have got one term by two terms. So I'm going to create my one by two box. So negative 6y will go on the outside here. And then 4y squared plus 10y to the third. Cool. Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. y times y squared will be y to the third. Negative 6 times 10 is negative 60. y times y to the third is y to the fourth which gets us negative 24y to the third minus 60y to the fourth. Final answer there. All right, for this last one, this is going to be one that we'll see pretty frequently in Algebra 1. So let's check this out. We got two terms here and then another two terms here, which this will create our first two by two box. Okay, so the setup is going to be a little bit different. So that means we're going to have two columns, by two rows, it looks kind of like a window pane, something like that. On the top of the box, we'll put something like x plus six. Notice I'm putting the plus with the six. On the left side, we'll put x minus five. Now it doesn't matter whether you put x plus six on the top and x or x plus six here and x minus five up here. It doesn't matter. You'll get the same result at the end. Now, I'm gonna find the area of each little box, add them up. So x times x is x squared. 6 times x is 6x. X. x times negative 5 would be negative 5x. And negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. Now, what I particularly love about this method is when we add all these ups, we're, we're going to have like terms. So x squared plus 6x minus 5x minus 30. So notice here that 6x and 5x, negative 5x, both have x to the first power which means we can simplify this down a little bit further by doing 6x minus 5x, which this would get us 1x minus 30, leaving this as the final answer. Now, what I particularly love about this box method, the area model, is typically the like terms will line up along the diagonal as long as the polynomials or the binomials look pretty straightforward. Okay? Sometimes it doesn't happen, but a lot of the time it will. So let's do, I think I got, yep, four more problems. So feel free to uh, drop off at any point. If you are feeling pretty good, feel free to drop off. Let's try and be a little bit neater here. So another two by two. And as previously mentioned before, I'm just gonna do two minus X or plus X. Notice I'm keeping the signs here, even if now that they're with the x's. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. 2 times x is 2x. And x times negative x is a negative x squared. All right, and like I said before, here are your like terms. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and combine them now. 2 minus 4x is negative 2x. And there's your final answer. Now, you will typically see it written like this, though, with the highest exponent to start off. That will be how, like, if it's on the star test, it'll be an answer choice that's like that. But this is also OK. All right, let's do this next one. Another 2 by 2. So 2x minus 1, 3x plus 6. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. 2x times 6 is 12x. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Here are our like terms again. 6x squared plus 9x minus 6 is our final result. All right, number nine, another two by two. Now this will be an example 
where those like terms, how they line up on the diagonal, this will not work. So I am excited to show you guys that. So we get x squared minus 3, 2x plus 7. So 2x times x squared, it gets you 2x to the third. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. 7 times x squared is 7x squared. And 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. And because they all have different exponents, you just add all these together. And that's the final result. All right, number 10 is a little weird. It feels like there's only one thing here, but we do have this squared. So this is 3x minus 1 squared, which remember means this is 3x minus 1 multiplied by itself. So this is just a two by two with the same thing on the top and the bottom. So three X times three X is nine X squared. Negative one times three X is negative three X. Three X times negative one is negative three X and negative one times negative one is positive one. Here's your like terms. So we get nine X squared minus six X plus one. And that's multiplying polynomials. So hopefully this helped. And peace out, Girl Scouts.